All right, so we're here this morning to talk about a homicide uh, that happened here in Largo uh, on Christmas Eve, December 24th at about 1.45 p.m. Uh, the victim in the homicide is Abrielle Baldwin, a 23-year-old black female. Her date of birth is May 5th of 2000. She went by the name of Bree and was a mom to two boys, a six-year-old and an 11-month-old. We've arrested two people, <clears throat> and I'll explain the incident as to what happened. The first person that was arrested is DeMarcus Coley. He's a 14-year-old black male, date of birth is May 2nd, 2009, and he's been charged with first-degree murder, child abuse, and being a delinquent in possession of a firearm. The second is Darkus Coley. He's a 15-year-old black male, date of birth is January 31st, 2008, and his charges are attempted first-degree murder and tampering with physical evidence. So this is what happened. <clears throat> On Christmas Eve, as I said, uh, December 24th, uh, Abrielle Baldwin, her 10-month-old son, her 6-year-old son, her 14-year-old brother, Demarcus, her 15-year-old brother, Darkus, and their mother, Joyce Birch, who's a black female with a date of birth of June 25th, 1984, went Christmas shopping at a store here in Argo. While they're shopping, 15-year-old uh, Darkus was jealous that their mother, Joyce, was getting 14-year-old Demarcus more gifts than he was receiving. So they had this family spat about who was getting what and what money was being spent on who, and they're having this big thing going on in the store, and they're all arguing with each other. They left the store and headed to their grandmother's house, and they're having this big spat about what happened while shopping and who's getting what and who didn't get what for Christmas. So this is just normal what people do when they have these young kids getting spats like this. And, of course, I'm saying this sarcastically because he's all mad at his brother about what his brother was getting and is not getting. He stood in the doorway, and he took out his 40 caliber semi-automatic handgun, and he pointed it at Darkus and told him he was going to shoot him in the head. So you got the 14-year-old who's mad at the 15-year-old because mom's not buying equal amounts of gifts. They get to grandma's house, and... He takes out his gun and tells him he's going to shoot him in the head. DeMarcus then began arguing with Abrielle and used some very, very derogatory language that I won't repeat at all and all kinds of profanity and stated that he was going to shoot her and that he was going to, quote, shoot the baby too. DeMarcus then moved toward Abrielle and shot her in the chest with a 40 caliber semi-automatic handgun, again, while she's carrying the baby. Abrielle fell to the ground, so did the baby. The baby wasn't hurt because the baby was in a carrier. So when DeMarcus falls to the ground, Darkus comes out of the house. And again, Darkus is 15, and he takes out his 45 caliber semi-automatic handgun because, again, I'll say this sarcastically, just normal that all these kids, that's what you do, right? You just carry handguns when you get in a spat with your sibling. You take out your guns and you have a gun battle. Uh, so he takes out his gun and tells DeMarcus, so Darkus tells DeMarcus, quote, you shot my MF sister, and then Darkus shot DeMarcus one time in the stomach. Unfortunately, Abrielle Baldwin was transported to Largo Medical Center Hospital here in Largo with a single gunshot wound to her chest, and she was pronounced dead at the hospital. Uh, basically, the round went in through her left arm into her chest area, went across, uh, went into both lungs, all kinds of internal bleeding. She bled out and it popped both lungs. She couldn't breathe. DeMarcus uh, was transported to a hospital where he underwent surgery. He's in custody, uh, remains in the hospital, is in stable condition, and upon release, he'll be transferred to the custody of the Florida Department of Juvenile Justice. The Pinellas Pasco State Attorney's Office is going to review the case and decide whether to charge DeMarcus as an adult with the first degree murder of his sister. Darkus, again, the 15 year old, made self harm statements after we picked him up at the location where he was in Clearwater. And he is right now in a secure mental health facility, and he'll be charged with attempted first degree murder and tampering with evidence and transported to the Pinellas Juvenile Assessment Center upon his release from the mental health facility.